I had five days to try and explore as much ground as possible alone. I only have with me one small meal a day. That's not very much considering all the hard work that's ahead. I'm gonna need to catch some fish and maybe even forage some wild edibles to keep from getting too hungry. This is gonna be a good test for my wilderness skills, my survival skills, and my endurance. Yeah, potatoes and onions. <laughs> I never had them last night after. I was more interested in sleep. So, I feed of this now. I got some trout soup there boiling up. Then I'll be on my way. The plan is to check out the lakes I'm interested in seeing and maybe keep on plugging by. Onward to the woods. The main goal of the trip for me is to cover as much ground as possible during my five days and my limited rations. So as much as I'd like to stick around this beautiful campsite, I'm where I go again today. I'm just taking my time now, working my way up along the creek with the raft. I think I can drag it and not have to deflate it. I'm seeing a few holes along the way. I had to lift it up on the side a few times, but I got through. I'm just about to the pond now. That's good. Although taking the raft down and blowing it back up again, maybe only is 10 minutes. If I can avoid it, I will. It saves energy. It's only easy to drag it like this. That's 
one of the spots I could have tried for fish yesterday evening. There's a better one up ahead. I got no fish left. So now I want to get some again. However, over the last few nights, I didn't eat my canned fish. So I got that in reserve. I could have it as a snack today if I wanted to. Oh, the screen's getting full of water there. I could have it as a snack today if I wanted to. Or I could have it for breakfast tomorrow or the next day. I'll wait and see how the fishing goes. To see how I manage my food. Rain's coming down now to a good clip. I don't mind it though. Got the rain gear on. It's refreshing. Last couple days been pretty hot. I get sick of that pretty quick too. So it's good to have some variety out here in the great outdoors. Little bog hole here. Oh, my bag hooked in. Up top on a tree, I almost fell in there. <laughs> oh my. This is the good stuff. This is a bit of fun. This is great too, coming through new ground now. This is all new for me. It's exciting. I feel a difference over the first couple days. I knew that area. It was fun, but something was missing. That bit of unknown. Now I'm getting it here. All new area. Everything looks different in the woods, different terrain. No two spots are the same. The wetness on the bushes and stuff and the mast is making the raft glide over pretty easy behind me. Yesterday I was getting a bit worried in the last half of the day because I didn't want to deflate it and I was dragging it over a couple sharp sticks, taking a chance, but she seems to be good. No leaks. Yeah. Okay, this is a deep hole here. I'm gonna try for a trout. We're at the pond. About a half a kilometer trotting there. And the marshes. I was worried about the wind this morning down at camp. It was blowing pretty hard. Thinking how the ponds were gonna be, but this one's not too big, so I shouldn't have an issue navigating it. No trout there. Not right now anyways. I'll go face this wind now. I think we'll be okay. So I got it loaded up. Bag's tied on nice and good now. Actually got it uh, positioned so that I can pick up the bag and carry the raft on the back. Because that's what I might need to do further ahead. Right now I'm getting out here. My phone is tucked away in my bag so I don't got my mats on me. The in-reach is detailed at all. But I know by looking at it, that I gotta get from this pond to another one. There's a little narrow section that divides them. I go from that, and then on the next pond there's a brook that I gotta go up to the to another body of water. So I'm gonna try to see if I can just find it here based on my memory there, looking at the map and pick around, have a peek. It's gonna be fun. Connector to the first lake. I thought I could paddle through it. It's actually a small brook, so I got to lift over.
just got a nice fish on the trawl. I was just coming up that little brook I was looking for. And whammo, close to shore. That's a nice trout. I'm here now about to get out, carry over to the next pan. I'd like to stay out and fish in this one. We're tucked in a bit of a sheltered area now, but it's too windy out there to mess around. And I'm just gonna keep going. This is not bad. At least I got one good uh, meal for this evening. And I should get more fish throughout the day. So the little creek is over there. It's nothing but a little dried up trickle. Pans up this way. Haul that up from the master. An old moose rack. Nice size. But it's all decayed pretty bad here. Whatever was buried. This is what was stuck up in this one spot. That's been there for many a year. And it's gonna stay there for many more. Until it rots away to nothing. Probably about the same time I'll be rotting away to nothing. Hauled another one out of right here at a small little spot. I'm gonna keep them just in case. Gotta stack up. That's two on the day. Just lasted dandy. As soon as I turned the freaking camera on. So I made it to the destination pond. Lost a fish right off the bat. Just got another small one in. But it's a good sign. It means there's trout out there. I just pulled in here now. I'm fishing in this small cove. It's calm. It's way too windy out in the middle of the pond. Take a break here for a bit and enjoy it. That's why I came here. Oh, I got a dandy then. I think that's the one I lost earlier. Yes, sir. Ah, that might be the biggest of the trip. <laughs> what a dandy. What a trout. That's beautiful. Not bad so far in about 15 minutes. Makes it worthwhile coming in here, scouting out new areas. I love it. That's another one. Oh, those chunky, chunky brookies. Gonna be eating good.
little protection from above here. Having a fire. A cup of coffee. The rain's died down a little bit, but with that the wind has picked up strong. I just came up the pond I wanted to get to after catching those fish struggle against headwinds. Now I'm in a nice tucked in cove, great shelter, having a fire for a coffee. Going to have a can of kippers as well, smoked sardines I have there. It's time to dig in there. I haven't ate since the potatoes and onions and trout for breakfast there this morning, seven or eight hours ago. So I got some nice trout here today. I want to have that little can of food, something to tie me over. And then I got a portage over to the next pond. I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to stay here. It's still early in the afternoon. Just wants to see as much as I can. Fish, fish, and more fish. The healthiest meat in the world. One of the healthiest foods. On the go. Heat them up now. These are delicious. It's a lot quicker than frying up them trout. So I'm deflating the raft. I'm going for a hike. The next pond is bigger than this one. There's wind gusts up to 60, 70 kilometers an hour. So I'm not going to be able to paddle on that one. So I'm going to hike beyond it and see where that takes me. Paddle up here on the ridge, big moose paddle. Whew. That's a heavy one. Still, still in fairly decent condition too. I'd almost like to take it with me. But yeah. that's heavy. Thirty pounds? I don't know.
dry turf, that's nice to get to. Up on the caribou mass, along the ridges. All the trout's weighing me down here. I'm in a pretty barren area now. Hardly any woods around. But I scouted out camp in a lovely patch of it. High up on a ridge, halfway up, next to a little creek. I was just in and picked it out, left my bag up on the hill. Put the life jacket up in the tree there just to mark it so I'd have no trouble coming back. Bunch of birch bark I found in here. What a cool little woods. It's nowhere. Not very big. It starts there and ends just on through here. Not even a hundred yards. Just a skinny thicket that stretches a little ways down here into the valley. I bet it only stretches 200 yards. So 100 yards by 200 roughly. And I'm going to put a tent here. Yeah! I get really excited finding sites like this. Little rare spots. Very, very high chance no one's camped here before. No reason to be in here. And that adds a little extra fascination to it. It's just nice. It'll be nice to lie down. Thinking that I'll be one of few or the only to camp here and enjoy this beautiful bit outdoors. Just tearing this grass, a little trickle of water comes through. It's nice and clean. Big bag of trout. About 10 kilometers under the belt today. It was a good one. I thought it was going to rain, but not yet. I'm going to have to use the tarp up. Ah. Ah, I just sat down. Too spent to get the trout ready. Just wanting to dive into the tent after a long day. Mashed potatoes. Sardines it is for supper. Sardines with hot sauce, even. And that's good. Taking on a new one, a new day. Wind's still blowing out there. Won't be going in the raft today. It's probably harder winds than yesterday. I'd say I'll be walking all day long. over that little mound and she's wide open for kilometers for many kilometers I'm gonna crawl back here for another minute lay back oh. <sighs> it's nice and warm though doesn't look like there's gonna be any rain it's a south wind. 
it's a gentle warming breeze what will today bring in the great outdoors So for this trip, I had five days to get out, and the sixth day, I have an important commitment. I just got to get back for it, and it is what it is. Won't be going into any more detail, but I need to get out of here by day six at the latest, but I'll be pushing it then. We are 33 or 34 kilometers in, and I had planned on continuing paddling some lakes and ponds and getting back to a uh, remote hydro road here in the reserve and then walking a couple kilometers back to the vehicle. That's all it would have been. But now, with the wind, it's gusting hard. I just checked the weather updates on my inReach. And it's supposed to blow all day today and all day tomorrow, which will take me into day five tomorrow. And I won't be able to paddle. Therefore, I'm not going to be able to get back in time traveling on the lakes. So the only option is to hike it out. That's going to mean a bit more of a difficult trek. Paddling, of course, I can move a lot quicker. It's a lot easier on the body, but the hiking is a bit of a grind up and down over the marshes, across the high barrens and ridges. It's 10 kilometers to one of the hydro roads, but that doesn't get me close like I would have been if I paddled. Once I get to that road, I still have another 20 kilometers roughly of hiking to get back to the vehicle. So 30 kilometers in total to cover today and tomorrow. If not, I'm not going to make my, uh, my big meetup. Uh, got her made. Got her made in the shade. I'm thankful for it. Nature's providing. And I'm enjoying. Thank you.
I don't got that much gear, but I got a bit more than I would have liked if I knew I was going to be backpacking this much. That's okay. I'm just plugging away one step at a time. Going up this big hill now to get up to the uh, top of a ridge. But I got a nice moose track in front of me to follow. Lots of moose prints, fresh ones. I just seen a moose. That was funny. The wind was blowing at me, so he couldn't smell me. And he was running straight at me. He got within maybe 50, 60 yards until I put my hands up in the air and made a wave. I don't think he could see me. It got up close and personal there for a minute. I thought he was going to run me over. There's a stiff wind that's blowing at me too. Shifting my pack around. Last night we were camped way over in them woods over there by the creek. That's where we ended up at the end of the day and it was nice. tracks here I'm just over nine kilometers in a little less than a kilometer away is the road up there follow that for 20k then Hydro canal there for Newfoundland power. That's why these roads were put here deep in the country. It's maybe 30 kilometers to get me back to the main highway right now where communities are. Someone just said to hell with it and left a rig in here after a good party. <laughs> Oh yeah, couple India beer. It just stinks in there. Okay, now it's about 20 kilometers here on the dirt road to my vehicle at Mount Carmel Pond. One step at a time, we'll get there. I'm starting to feel the heat now. The heat of that sun because it's sweltering. I'm running on a couple of nice trout I had for breakfast. I got about 14 kilometers in, 15 kilometers coming up on now. Quarter to seven, or sorry, quarter to six. I'm probably gonna look for a spot any minute and finish the rest of this tomorrow. I'll probably have 15 kilometers left, roughly. Because I'm almost spent. I can keep going, but I got time tomorrow. I could really dog it out and get out there this evening, but I'd say I'd be, I'd be dragging myself up to the car. It's 
it's nice to sit on a rock, rest the bag on the back of it. I do that every so often. At this rate now, every 10 or 15 minutes I sit down for a minute or two. And then it's back up and at it again. The bag wouldn't be so bad, but it's just the raft and the paddle and stuff and the patch kit and life jacket is probably 13 or 14 pounds. That extra bit of weight is noticeable. <laughs> Problem now is finding some firewood and a water supply. I can see lots of ponds, but they're a nice ways off the track and there's not a whole lot of big woods around. But every now and then I come upon one, so the next one is is going to be the one. On the map, a stream cuts across the road and there looks to be woods next to it. A suitable spot for a camp. The bit of woods and the stream just happened to be right next to the magic camouflage school bus. So we're camping here tonight, right there in the grass. Not a bad spot. Quick breakfast here now, and then we'll be on our way. It's a bit nasty out there, raining, winds blowing. Off and on showers, anyways. It's not pouring. So we'll have a little can of tuna now, just with some spices on it, and carry on. Pad on the back here, raft on top, water canister. I don't really need this next time, I'm just going to go with the enamel cup for short trips like this, trying to stay light. Tripod, little trout bag there. Try to put that as centered as possible using the strap here that cinches the bag, the top of the blue bag. So I tuck this in, the raft works good. I'll just take my rod in my hand now and this GoPro in my pocket because it's raining out. I won't use a good camera when it's raining. <coughs> All right, onward and upward. About 15 kilometers to go here. Pretty exposed up on the barren areas, there's lots of them. Just gonna take a nice dashing of rain and wind in the face. It's great though. Good views all around. Yeah. I reckon I'll do this in maybe three and a half, four hours. I don't plan on stopping. Very long, only to rest for a couple minutes at a time to lift the pack off my back. But if there's more big puddles like this, it might take longer. Let's try to bushwhack around these, they're deep. That's definitely going over the boot and then I'm gonna have a soggy foot right off the bat when they're actually pretty dry right now so I'd like to keep it like that as long as possible anyways this is a bit of a spot here as long as I can 
quick footed in that water. The boots will shed it better. And look at the old mess out there. Road gets out pretty close to the lake here. Little beach. a big loop here on this trip essentially I came in and went kind of straight west across the reserve then I went a bit south and now I'm coming back straight east so a nice little way to see the reserve very doable with uh, pack rafts In striking distance now, a couple of big hills lately. It's been some tough hiking here the last few kilometers. Climbing up along Mount Carmel. Up and down. Anyways, I'm on the final downhill now, I do believe. Just about back to the car. Yes, sir. It's been a good one. Nice hike today. The overall trip was awesome. My goal of the trip, the main one, was to get out and test myself. Getting by here, covering a lot of ground, covered about 63 kilometers, and very little. For me, I don't know, when I get on a longer trip in a more remote area, where somehow I may lose my food, and that's it. I have to get out and live an off the land, or a couple of rations I may have saved. So. To test that stuff was good, to experience the great outdoors of course was amazing and I can't tell you how much, uh, how good it feels to get by on so little out here. Just an average size pack and a fishing rod. Challenging at times, of course it is, but when you break through those, it's great joy. Plugging through a hard portage, just to sit back on the raft, fighting a headwind, to get to a river mouth and catch a big trout, mucking through the day, just to get to the campsite and lay back by the fire. That's what it's all about. Those are the moments that makes coming outdoors great. So I wanna thank you again for coming along on this adventure. There's gonna be many more to come. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. You'll love it, you'll love everything that's coming. We'll catch you the next adventure. Bye-bye.